Hello everybody, my name is Chuck with Comdoc, and today we're here to talk about using the bypass tray and how to operate it uh, correctly. First and foremost, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna take whatever media it is you're gonna put into the bypass tray. So whether that be an envelope, labels, cardstock, uh, whatever kind of paper it is you wanna use in the bypass tray. Step one to using the tray is inserting whatever paper it is into the tray. When you do so, the screen here will prompt you asking you what it is that you inserted into the tray. Now, as you can see here, the size that it listed is a tabloid 11 by 17. As you notice, that was not what I inserted into the tray. Very common that happens. You have to just make sure that you select the size and adjust it to whatever it is you put in there, which we did put an eight and a half by 11. The type is plain. If you were inserting something of another type, say labels or cardstock or something of that nature, you would hit type and this is where you would make that, that uh, suggestion here. You can just scroll up and down. Choose, now we do have plain paper in there right now, but if it was labels, you would just choose labels as such. Uh, the little uh, icon it gives you here is not reflective of, of what actual labels you put in there. So if it doesn't match what you put in, that's just fine. Lastly is color. You can choose whichever color. It's not super important that you do so. Uh, the machine will still operate correctly. This is just so if you wanted to keep that color paper in the tray, you could do that and it would identify it as such. So we do have our plain white paper in here. So we would just hit confirm. And then you can go ahead and process your job, whether that be print or whether that be copy. Uh, either of those would work. Uh, and you would do that with any sort of thing, whether that be an envelope, paper, cardstock, whatever it may be. Hope this helps. Enjoy using your bypass tray.